Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Indomitable, the man who will consume all media with the Sayorius. Here to talk it's about your JoJo Lands once again, as we do every month. The, uh, the the JoJo Lands for sure. Yes, we we do love the JoJo Lands. Yeah. And my oh my, was a rocky cooking this chapter. A lot oh happened. boy! Oh boy! <laughs> I'm very scared for what comes next. Actually, <laughs> it's not looking good for Jodio and the gang. Uh, I I just let's just hop straight into spoilers. Um, I just love the fact that Rohan is just straight up like. How do I deal with Stan users once I capture them? <laughs> All right, I'll call the police. <laughs> Classic Rohan. He refuses, and for once, Rohan was bested. That doesn't happen a lot. Not to Rohan. And for Jodio to do that, <laughs> to gain his respect, and then and then proceeds to threaten Jodio with, oh, by the way, there will be more Stan users coming from you, and I'll eventually come back too. I think Rohan is the main villain. I, I also want to know who the cats are and who sent the cats because Rohan said they were being watched by someone else. So someone else is yes. there. I, they, they definitely have a hand in the cats. Some cat lady mm -hmm. stand or whatever, you know, something crazy. Or they could do a part four and just be like, oh, this is going to be like the minor villain for at least the first half right. of this part. Oh, like the electric And then you guy. get the, okay. the big, big bad <laughs> right. later on. <laughs> Uh, yes. You know the classic electric guy. You... I don't remember his name. I just remember his stand, electricity. Yeah. Uh, I remember the stands yeah, game. Cause... It was Red Hot Chili Pepper. That I do remember. Red Hot Chili Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But what, okay, what do we think? Did Ro Rohan didn't show off his stand, did he? I mean, in the last chapter, he did. We saw the pages yeah. open on them. Yeah, but that was that was it. Like he didn't really use his stand this chapter, correct? No, he did not. Yeah, because I'm looking at it. So it's so funny to me because he all he did was literally just restrain them. Yeah. After like capturing him. <laughs> he literally just tied them up. Yeah. <laughs> and he called the cops so calmly. Oh, that was that was actually that was one thing I really liked about this chapter is that Rohan called the cops at the beginning. So you had a lot of tension from that of are they how are they gonna get out of this with the cops on the way? And even mm -hmm. if they do escape, the cops still know, and Rohan saw their faces. So how are they yeah. going to get off this island? You know? Yes. It's a manhunt. I also, yeah, I also like the fact that... Uh, <laughs> I like the fact that Rohan is just straight up, like... Like, just... He, like, fights them off, and, and then he gets tied up. And I'm just like... My, my guy, poor Rohan, <laughs> like, not only did he, like... Like hide, like hide everything in a safe, right? And mind his, like minded his own business. But once he captured them, right? Yeah. They proceeded to tie a what it was it called the zip tie around, around his, his neck. neck. Yeah. In one of the most like painful positions possible. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get his, yeah, classic Jodio. <laughs> and then for them to break his volcano rocks, which is really funny. Yeah. And then to like run away. I don't know. So, I don't know. Something about that is just is oh. so funny to me. Is like not once again. Rohan's house is destroyed because it's of always some funny. Kids. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time a JoJo uh, destroyed Rohan's house, I'd have two nickels, which isn't, which a, isn't lot. a lot. <laughs> uh, really oh, my favorite reveal of this chapter is that Jodio is a fucking nerd. Uh, he reads manga. He Just read like Kakui? No, yeah. not Kakui. Um, freaking, what's his name? Uh, Part 4? Oh, Koichi. Koichi. Yeah. I even, I keep saying Kakui, it's Koichi. Koichi, yeah. yeah. Like, just like Koichi, Koichi in Part 4. Yeah. He reads Rohan's yeah. manga. <laughs> Classic Araki self-insert yeah. character. Because, you know, he's still writing his manga, you know. <laughs> 20 years later <laughs> so <laughs> yeah 30 years at this point <laughs> fuck uh yeah i i just love the idea too whenever i look at rohan i'm just like this is a, a part of me wants to think <laughs> this is a rocky self-insert and i'm like a rocky's doing all these things to himself that's mm -hmm. so funny <laughs> yeah do you remember all the way back in chapter one where there was that quote from the yeah. from a mangaka and you know the, it was from it was from a rocky what if, in-universe, that quote is from Rohan? 
Yes. Really solidifying I mean, the self-insert theory. You know? Very much so, yeah. I mean, I like, let's be honest. That'd be probably one of the... It's par for the course for Rocky. Just amount... Like, this chapter alone, he had an unstealable diamond. Or the diamond is unbreakable or unsealable. Yeah, yeah this diamond is <laughs> So unsealable. the fact that he's able... To, yeah. So the fact that they have that... Um, you know, means that Araki can get away with anything. Mm -hmm. Like, they literally had a doctor, last part, whose whole point is that you can't kill him, attack him, or defend against him. <laughs> yeah. As, like, the main big bad. And I'm like, yeah, that's... I mean, the stuff Araki is putting into the JoJo, it wouldn't surprise me if the theory is, like, 100% accurate. It's just, oh, yeah, it's just another... Another, uh... <laughs> it's part of the course for JoJo, you know? <laughs> yeah. I I really yeah. want to meet the villains because if Rohan's not the villain, I I need to know what's going on with the cat. But who owns the cats? Are the cats the villains? I I swear it's gonna be a cat lady. Classic I'm calling it now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like some random cat lady, and it's gonna she's gonna turn into like the big <laughs> bad of part nine. God, her like Dan <laughs> name is like Eartha Kit or something like that. Yeah. You know, Catwoman from the 60s, but, uh, yes, Mitchell? <laughs> Can we at least agree there has never been a bad Juju villain? Yeah, I can agree and with that. And specifically with everything after, I will say, part five, mm -hmm. the Juju villains have gotten, like, some of the best. Even better, yeah. Yeah, because you had, like, no, what was it, in Jojo part villain. six... Jojo villain you had will always the, slap. Pucci. And, yeah, Pucci. Yeah, you had Pete Pucci. You had part seven, which was mm -hmm. the president of the United, United States. States of America himself. Yo, mm -hmm. funny Valentine. But yeah, no, Jojo yeah. villains And are, then you had... I'll let you... Yeah. yeah. You go first. I was just going to say, I was going to finish. Part eight is just yeah. a guy who literally was made by bees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A rock person. Rock person. Who's also a doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unkillable doctor, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, Jojo villains are always threatening uh even if their plans don't make sense i understand where they're going with their plans um yes and they just they're always like oh yeah i understand how these could be like you know an absolute powerhouse against the like the main villain like you know jonathan had to fight essentially a mega vampire that has tormented him his whole life uh you know joseph had to fight the ultimate life form you know, a creature stronger than vampires. You know, Jotaro had to, like, you know, defend his family's legacy against the return of that vampire, now with a time-stopping stand, you know? And Josuke had to go up against David Bowie, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, man was it's out so there good. in it's the so trenches. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the they always uh, look cool, they're always threatening, so I can't wait to see what Part 9 does with their villain. But on the other hand, funny. it might be Rohan, and you know Rohan would be a great villain. <laughs> yes, he would. Yeah. You know, but I, what I think is would be great for Part Nine is if the the villain was like the opposite of his ambition. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be poor. <laughs> no drugs, be poor. <laughs> well, no, it's like it's like the villain turns out to be like what the like the leader of a charity organization. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the leader of a charity organization that just, you know, helps, you know, teens that are drug addicts, like, you know, better their lives. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or like the head of a recovery center, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I give my money away to charity and I help recovering drug addicts. It's like you bastard. It's like the whole, it's like you learn the goal of the part nine villains. Like you see, with the lava rocks, somehow I'm able to make everyone like Not addicted rich to drugs. and well off <laughs> and well off. Yeah. And, and then you have Jodio being like, "No, I don't want that." <laughs> and he kills the villain God. for trying to like make the world a better place. That'd be so funny. <laughs> God, I really want to figure out the deal with these lava rocks, but unfortunately. That won't be for another decade. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I like the fact how he broke one of them and Rohan's like, no! no! And then and then I, I want I want them to like come to the realization or something like later on. 
when um, they break the lava rocks. It's like, oh, you needed two of them to work. And he's like, uh... Guys, <laughs> no, what if, what if they accidentally drop their last one, it fucking shatters, and, it, like, that awakens some ancient evil. Like, well, way to go, dipshits. Now Dio's back again. Uh... Oh, look at that. Or, Cars has returned to Earth. You know what, oh my god, what you know if the Cars returns rock to is? Earth? What? No, no, no. You know what the lava rock is? It's the last bone of Dio from part six that survived. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to have another green baby. But it's no. going to be purple this time. Oh my god. <laughs> no, what is it? The lava rock inside one of them is like a piece of Cars. And... His fing like it's his finger, like his pinky or something, and it regenerates his whole body. Now Cars is back, and he has a stand now. Oh, <laughs> dude, imagine Ultimate Cars with a stand. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Got to send him to space again. <laughs> Poor Jody, dude. Poor Jody. That's like worse than it's worse than facing Father Pucci. <laughs> uh, it's you know, with, uh, what is it, Heaven's, Heaven's, uh, what is it called? No, uh, Made in Heaven. Heaven's Door is Or Rohans. Made in Heaven. Yeah. I was gonna say Heaven's Gate, but I'm like, wait, that's Rohan's. Nah. Yeah. 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 Made yeah. in Heaven, Made yeah. in Heaven. Ma God. I, yeah, Made in Heaven is a cool stand, but. Yeah, I love the fact, though, that Rohan, if it wasn't for Jodeo, he would have gone, like, three for three. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, go Rohan. <laughs> Let's go Rohan. Let's fucking go. He got that dub, and I'm like that. I like that Jodeo's like, please don't kick him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a really good manga. Yeah, I'm like, like, thank you. Whatever we you love do, Rohan. don't hurt his hands. I like his manga. I want to keep reading it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's up with this diamond though? Like, I know it's pretty. Like, the lava rocks are more important, but like, I wonder if there's yeah. any like. The diamond keeps moving. You know. Um... Dragona can't pick it up. What is? I mean, that might just be Heaven's Door, but you know, the diamond seemed to be doing that before. Yeah, yeah, like automatically, like before. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, that but, is, but, again, we probably won't know for like another decade. Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> so okay, okay. So there's a lot of confrontation here because. Mm -hmm. At the end, if you remember the cliffhanger from last chapter, it was literally Rohan versus <laughs> it was it was it was Rohan finding them, right? Yeah, and then this was like the big fight, right? After they also got restrained by cats, which is part for the course with JoJo. <laughs> um, <laughs> I keep saying part for the course. That's like my catchphrase now. Jeez. But anyways, um, but in terms of I think where the story goes from here. Uh, because this is the big fight, they're now on the run. There's more cats after them. What do you think is gonna happen? Well, um, I think if you know the trend continues with you know Rohan, well, I think the cat person, like they're they're setting this up to be a major thing. I think this is gonna be like a one-off short-term villain. Um, I think this is the hired but, gun. Yeah, For this is three. this is the yeah. hired gun essentially. Yeah, remember, like in part three, every like the stand user of the week was just another hired gun by Dio. So I think we're gonna get a little of that, but I also think we're gonna be seeing more returns from past characters, the JoJo lands. You know, you like, think so? I, we're gonna yeah. get more cameos. I think so. I think we're gonna mm -hmm. get more like people returning, um, good and bad. You know, like. Maybe we'll see Whole Horse again. Maybe we'll see um, who's alive from part three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who's alive from part three? We'll see pretty much no. Oh, wait, Polnareff and, and a turtle. We'll see Polnareff we'll as a turtle. Yeah, we'll He's see turtle. turtle. Yeah, yeah, we'll see turtle Polnareff again. Uh, but every, wait, we'll see. Dead, yeah. Uh, That's crazy. Because I I'm thinking we won't see the main JoJo. Um, God, maybe it is Dio, and we're gonna get Heaven Ascended Dio as the final boss. But the point is, I think we're gonna get like villain of the week stuff, both from cameos and original hired guns, um, for a while. Yeah. And then we're gonna get well, like I are they on again. Uh, Oahu. I th okay. Are they going back to Oahu, or is Oahu where they originated from? Well, I know they're in some other island from yeah. where they start, right? Because they took yeah, the plane. They they flew. Here's, here's my theory. 
I think they they're gonna fight this cat sand user while trying to escape. Mm -hmm. We may not get a reveal until the chapter after the next one. Yeah. Which will be two months from now. Which. Oh, yeah. Two months. Yeah. Two, months. Uh, two two months. Uh. But anyways, aside from that, I mean, Araki's playing out banger, so take your time, King. Yeah. But no, like uh. In terms of what I think, where I think this story is going. I think the they're not going to they're going to fight the cats. Mm -hmm. They're going to get to the helicopter plane or whatever they're using to escape and it's going to blow up or break down. And to escape, they're going to have to take a boat. So it's basically part 3 but instead of going to somewhere they're trying to escape. Yeah. Uh okay, but that the is cat stands following. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I see that. I can see that happening, like stretching it out. I mean, I'm yeah. just saying. Araki just finished a whole horse just case spinoff manga. You know, whole horse isn't entirely off the table at the moment. You know, the entire stallion is ready to return at any given moment. You mean the <laughs> king of the sand users? Yeah, the king <laughs> of the sand himself. users himself. <laughs> the whole horse. Yeah. I don't know. The I think. Emperor. I think it would be so fun if they encounter more, like, see, I would love to see a different variation of Joseph show up. Because mm. Joseph technically exists in this world, right? Or is he dead at this point? No, there was a, because jo Joseph is, um, he's in the family tree. I'll have to pull the family tree back up. But yeah, but there, is, is he like a grandfather? Tree. Last time we saw him in the family tree, I'm trying to remember. Fuck, it was cha chapter one had the family tree. I'm gonna go pull it up, but y tell your point while I try to find it. Uh, I don't know. I would love to see alternate versions of the Joe Star family. Oh, like I universe. like Irene from part six, but then like, you know, Kuturo, well, not even Joe. Irene, but yeah. like the actual Joe Stars in this rebooted universe. I want to see what they look like. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be cool. Or, you know what would be fun? If Jodio isn't even a Joe star. Because, wait, does he have a star mark? I think he does, yeah. Uh Oh, yeah, he does then. Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. But he, he may be so far removed, though. I would, you know what would be fun? If the enemy is the entire Joe star lineage. Yeah. Okay, so... Johnny had, you know, George Joestar II, who married Elizabeth, and one of their children was Joseph Joestar, who married Susie Q, who had a daughter named Barbara Ann Joestar, who is the mother of Jodio. Oh, uh, so he's the... So oh, so he'd be grandpa then, right? Yeah, Joseph is the grandfather of and Jodeo. And part two! <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't remember if... Uh, okay, okay, oh yeah, because Johnny married uh, into the hot Higashigata family. Um, they had a daughter. I think that daughter's line became the family we saw in, uh, in part eight and then George's side of the family led to Joseph Joestar and Jodeo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's what it, so Jodeo is like a really distant cousin. Okay. Yeah. To, to uh, part the Joestar is a part eight. You mean Josuke 8? <laughs> yeah, yeah Josuke 8. Josuke, or Gappy. Yeah. I like saying Gappy because it's just easier because there's a gap yeah. in his teeth. Yeah, it's a funny nickname, Gappy. Yeah. I like calling him Josuke 8. Or, um, or you know what would be funny? If the enemy the enemy in part 9 is the entire Japanese Navy and <laughs> Josuke 8 is <laughs> leading it, sailor outfit. <laughs> God, I remember when they were talking about the Japanese man, you and I were like, oh yeah, it's like... Gappy or some other part eight character. It's Jose Fume. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Or the mysterious guy from part eight we never learned the identity of except for that one chapter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember uh, him? Yeah. But no, and then it was Rohan and then the whole internet was shook. Uh <laughs> wait, was it? Uh in the JoJo community, yeah. <laughs> no no no, not the mystery what? person you're talking about. I'm talking about the, the Japanese person in part nine. 
Oh yeah, yeah no, I'm talking yeah. about the person. Part. I'm like the yeah. part eight person yeah. was revealed to be Rohan. No, it wasn't. I, I don't think they. Revealed. I don't think it was revealed. I don't no, think they did. I, That's what's funny. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Araki just forgot. But <laughs> Araki's like, what if I put this person in? It's like, well, what's gonna happen with that person? Araki, what person? <laughs> oh, as for, I, I pulled up Twitter for some reason, and one of the first things I see every month, Araki looks for a new excuse to reference Breaking Bad, uh, and it's just, uh, I'll just send it to you so you can see it, but yeah, Part 9 is just a bunch of, I think Araki watched Breaking Bad while making um, Part 8, and it was just like, oh, I know what Part 9, I know how to do Part 9 now. I understand. Yes, you know, Araki's the goat. He gets it. He knows. You know, Araki knows. Well, he uh, understands. <laughs> yeah, he, he is the goat. I mean, you don't do this for as long as he has, and you know, don't figure it out. I mean, he knew from day one. You know, he's a vampire after all. Ugh. But yeah, we're about twenty twenty one minutes in. Uh, any other final? thoughts on the newest chapter mitchell uh i, I hope rohan up. returns <laughs> even though i'm probably not gonna see him if at all for a while yeah um but yeah i just hope more cameos of rocky that'd be fun or more exploring this new universe with the joestar lineage you know that'd also be really cool mm -hmm. and i hope this mechanism is like oh yeah the mechanism <laughs> Yeah. the mechanism <laughs> i hope you explain more of what that is because we're like what it's like the spin right it's like the spin the spin the spin and then you learn what the spin is it's like oh it's just a spin it's just yeah it's just a spinning it's literally <laughs> just spinning it's the golden ratio uh yeah but yeah yeah fun chapter you know a rocky fun chapter is always out of the park. yeah yeah um, I, ju I just am so upset every time we cover this because we know deep down we're gonna have to wait another month. <laughs> another month, yeah. Yeah. To cover it like once literally, again, we like started always. this. Wait, when did we start doing the series? Like uh, five, after one. five months ago in February. <laughs> it's been five months ago <laughs> yeah. when we were still in college. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking insane. I know. Araki. And we're gonna we're and gonna be doing like this. <laughs> If it's a oh hundred chapters, right? Because each part, like, uh, how, how long is part eight? <laughs> part eight took, like, just over a decade. Mitchell, we're going to be doing this series for a decade if we continue to do this. <laughs> Every day, non-stop, for the rest of, you know, for the next decade of our life. You know, we'll be finished with this series by the time we're uh, in our early 30s. You know? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, this no. Is, this is the life we've chosen. Live with it. Uh -huh. This is our canon event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is our canon event for sure. Oh god. All right, we, we're not in the we, you know we're not in the universe where Iraqi's pumping out these chapters every other week. Mm -hmm. You god, know, it's, I, it's quite unfortunate. <laughs> I really wish we live in that timeline. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'd already be almost at, like halfway done with part nine at this point. Yeah. Oh my god, if at all. At least it's dead into part nine. But anyways, yeah. um, overall, I would say this is not my favorite chapter mm -hmm. of part nine. My favorite one still, I would say, the first chapter. Yeah. But this one is still pretty, it's pretty good. It's uh, pretty good I set like, up to whatever the hell yeah. is coming next. Yeah, I can agree I with that. I think it's not the best, but it's one of the best, or one of the better chapters. Yeah. And there, there isn't like a bad one, like Araki doesn't miss, like this part. Mm -hmm. He hasn't missed yet. All the chapters have at least been entertaining. The only times where I think they haven't been good is when nothing happens. Mm -hmm. It's just more of a continuation of what the chapter set up. Which yeah. Happened, like, I think. Like and that what, was it. Yeah, like chapter four. I, four or three. Or three. It was chapter yeah. three was just. It was they're really just like we're short. sneaking in. And yeah. Then, yeah. That's, that's the worst chapter so far, chapter three. It was the shortest one. Like nothing happened. And it's just like you could have included this. Like at the end of the last chapter, like you didn't need need me to wait a month for this. Like, yeah, like really, yeah, but yeah. Anyways, um, I look forward to the cat <laughs> chase as they call it for next chapter, and uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts below because yeah, we want to hear. We're kind of lonely up here, it's just the two of us talking about JoJo lands. We love to just hear what you guys think from the top <laughs> of yeah, just us together just talking about it. All right, but yeah. Tell us what you think, uh, and you know, you'll see another video about the next chapter in a in month. In a month. Yeah. <laughs>
Very fun. <laughs> very fun. Very Six fun. Now. Six months now. Six months now. Half a, year. <laughs> Half a year, baby. Half a year, and you know, we're still in the early phases. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Adios.